Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Tammy from Homesteading in the City with Tammy. If this is your first time at my YouTube channel, I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out my videos. If you've been here from the beginning, I really appreciate you coming by each week and watching the new videos that I put out. If you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so to my YouTube channel. It does benefit me. So today's video, we are going to be doing another knitting video. We are going to actually be knitting a washcloth. So if that is something that interests you, stick around. So the tools you need for today's project are going to be a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, a small one so that if you slip a stitch you'll be able to uh, hook it back on, uh, knitting needles, I would prefer short knitting needles and they are a number six or a four millimeter. And then some cotton yarn. They have sugar and cream. This one happens to be 100% um, cotton yarn from Hobby. Um, so there's a couple of different things out there that you can get. Those are, the, those are the items that you need for today's video. Okay, I will leave a link in the description of the pattern, the directions for the pattern that we have. Um, the pattern is a cast on a four, and at the beginning of each row, you will in increase one stitch until you get a total of 40. Then at the beginning of each row, we will decrease one stitch until we get back to four. That is as simple as the pattern is. It's just a knit stitch all the way along, nothing really difficult to do. Now when I cast on something like this, it's only four stitches, so I'm going to use, I always use a long tail cast on, but I'm going to use as least amount of yarn as possible so that I don't waste a bunch of yarn. When you are trying to make these to sell, the more you can get out of a skein of yarn, the more money you make. So if you can frugally cast on and not have to waste a whole bunch of extra yarn by having a long tail, then that's better. So usually I can do it with a tail oh, about, I think that's like four inches. Um, It's only four stitches. So if you watched my other video, the long tail cast on, and we're just going to cast on our four stitches. Three. And it's okay. So now that we have our four pieces uh, cast on, we are going to tie in our tail. So the first stitch that we do, we are going to actually get down here so you guys can see. Knit in our tail. So we'll take two pieces and knit them through. And we're going to do that till we have our tail all the way knitted in. This way, we don't have to weave it in at the end. We're doing it right now in the beginning. And we're just knitting these first four stitches off our cast on. We're not increasing right yet. We'll increase on our next row. Okay. So now we are going to start increasing. And we're just going to remember that these two last two stitches have two um, pieces of yarn in them. So we just have to make sure that we take both of those so we don't add on two more stitches that we don't need. Okay, so the first stitch is always going to be a knit stitch on our next row. It's the second stitch that we're going to increase in. And we are going to increase in by going into the front and the back of our stitch. So once you have it up like that, you're going to go in and you're going to go through the back loop to increase It's always hard on the first couple of stitches until you get it going. Okay, so here we have our two. Should we take both of those? And both of them there. And then we have our little tail tied in and we can just tighten that down. 
Okay, so now we have five stitches on. And then again, on the first row was where we're going to decrease at the beginning of each round. So we're going to do one stitch and then we're going to decrease on the next one. So knit our stitch. Now it's knit in the front loop, pull it through, don't take it off, stretch it and pull it in and put it through the back loop. Wrap your yarn around and pull that through and we added a stitch and then you can just knit the rest of them through in the row. Okay, we'll do that again. Okay, so we knit our first stitch. Knit the second one, but don't take it off this needle. Keep it on, pull your stitch up, turn, and get your needle to go in in that back stitch there, like that, and bring it back through. And there we just increased without making a hole. Now some of these patterns require you to increase by just putting yarn over and kind of making a hole. We're not doing that, we're increasing without making a hole in our uh, washcloth pattern. Okay. And we're just going to keep doing that by adding one stitch each time until we have a total of 40 stitches on our needle. Then we're going to start decreasing. So I'll show you how to add one a stitch one more time here. So now we're going into the back loop, going up, coming through. Okay, let's do that one more time, as slow as I can do it so that you guys can see how to increase. Okay, so we're going in as though we're going to knit, wrap our yarn around, pull out, pull up, and then we're going to go into the back loop back here, put our needle in, wrap around, and pull it out. And then we're going to finish knitting the row. Okay, I'm going to let you guys finish knitting. When you get to 40 stitches, I will come back on and we will start with the decrease and I will show you how to decrease. And then I will let you decrease until you get down to four stitches and then we will show you how to cast off. Okay, so now that you have your stitches casted on your needle to meet 40, you can go ahead and we're going to start decreasing. So you just want to count to make sure that you have 40 stitches across here. That's how you're going to know you have your 40 stitches. And then we're just going to start decreasing. So we're going to do the same as we did before. Knit the first one and then we're going to knit two together for the second one. We're only going to decrease on the at the beginning of every round. We're only going to decrease at the beginning of every round. So then you just knit all your stitches. All the way across. Okay, so now you got it all the way to the end. First round of decrease. Let me show you that uh, decrease one more time. So the first stitch we're going to knit as usual. And I'll do slow motion on the, the decrease here. So then we're going to count off two stitches. Go to the second stitch. Put your needle in from the um, left to the right. Push it through. Wrap your yarn around and bring it through and that's how you de uh, do a decrease and you knit two together. So then you just knit across again. 
Okay, I'll show you that decrease one more time so that you guys can get a good show it at how we do that. So we're going to knit our first one. And then count off two, go to the second one, go from the left to the right, push it all the way through the first, the front loops on there, wrap it around and bring it through. And that's how you do your decrease. Now you will decrease until you actually hit, until you have four stitches left. Once you have your four stitches left, I'll show you how to cast off. So once you are down to your four stitches, you've decreased and you've got just four stitches left, we're going to um, cast off. And we've gone over cast off in my previous videos. Um, I'll link that in the description below for that, but I'll also show you again. You knit your first one, knit the second one, and then we're going to take the first one over top the second one. Knit the next one, take the first one over top of the one you just knitted. Knit the last one and take your stitch over top. Now that you have your little tail, we can just take out cut our yarn, tie a knot, and I'll show you how to weave that in. Okay, now that we have just a little, I, I cut just a little bit off. We don't need a lot, why waste it? We're just gonna weave it in. Go ahead and put your loop through to tie your knot and just you know tighten it down as tight as you can get it to that stitch. And it'll tighten right in there. Then we're going to take our crochet hook that we have and we're gonna go through one of the loops and we're going to bring our not down in that and then we're just going to weave it through our um, stitches here but we're going to get it through a couple of stitches and then we'll weave it back through so you can get your crochet hook and pull it through and once you have it through a couple we're going to go back up if you can see I went through two at an angle. I'm going to go back up through these two and then come back down through these two so that I can weave it the way it's knitted so that it doesn't stand out. You can see that. Oops, it didn't catch it all. And then. But see, as you can see that it's weaving, if you do it like that, they don't actually even, you can't even tell when it's weaved in. You can go right across the whole row and then snip off, and that's a long weave in that you have. If I can get that to, there we go. So you can barely see that it was weaved in there. It looks like it's supposed to be there. So you just keep going back and forth, weaving it back and forth like that, and that'll allow it to look like it was supposed to be there. But you can do this with a, a needle or you can do it with a crochet hook. I usually have a crochet hook with me in case I drop a stitch. The crochet hook is a lot easier to fish your stitch up with a crochet hook. And that way I don't have to worry about if I dropped a stitch, I can just stitch it, pull my stitches up and go from there. But see, it's all weaved let me get this so that it, it, you can see it there. It's all weaved in right there, and you can hardly tell that it doesn't belong. I'll just cut my tail off, and you'll never know that it wasn't supposed to be there. So that is how you do a washcloth. You finished a little washcloth that usually it's about an hour to do from beginning to end. Um, not real long. It's a quick little project to sit down and know that you get it done when you get it done. As you can see, this is one a different one than we started. I just had this one ready to finish. Um, and it's easy to put other colors on when you run out of one to add another color. But um, that is my version of a dishcloth. So congratulations, you made your first dishcloth or washcloth, whatever you wanna use it for. 
Well, everybody, that's it for today's knitting video. I hope you found it informative and you might have learned something from the video. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. It does benefit me. Smash that like button and give me the thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'd be willing to answer any questions that you guys might have. And as always, I will catch you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.